वंस अगेन वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे इज अ थर्सडे दत्त वार गॉड दत्त सेवन टेंथ सेवन सेवन सेवंथ ऑफ मार्च 2019 वी आर मेकिंग द सीरियल लेट्स द आयुर्वेदा नॉलेज वायरल माय सेल्फ इज प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर देश पांडे व्हाट वी आर लर्निंग दोष धातु मला मूलम ही शरीरम दोष धातु एंड मल दोष आर बायो एनर्जीज नाउ लेट अस टॉक अबाउट धातु what are dhatus there are seven important body tissues which are called as dhatu in ayurveda dhatu word in marathi or in even in sanskrit language they have the different meanings physics if you consider dhatu if you ask the marathi medium student what are dhatus in physics he will sell swarna rajat tamra gold silver copper but those metals those dhatu are something different now what we are talking about ayurvedic physiology the dhatu word is equal to body tissues like the modern allopathy doctors they also mentioned the connective tissues like the blood muscles fat bones etc similarly ayurveda has the concept of dhatu they are seven in number rasa can be compared with the plasma or the lymph or the watery part of our body rasa dhatu rakta dhatu is a cellular part of the blood red blood cells white blood cells platelets this and that rakta dhatu can be compared with the blood solid part mouth mouth is a muscular part of our body bicep muscle tricep muscle deltoid muscle abdominal muscle muscles of the extremities everything mouth dhatu medh dhatu is a fat adipose tissue then रस रक्त मांस मेद अस्थि अस्थि बोन्स इट मे बी वर्टिब्रल कॉलम क्लाइविकल ह्यूमरस रेडियस एनालना फीमर टीबिया फिबुला फैलेंजेस ऑल ऑल बोन्स अस्थि धातु इन आयुर्वेद अस्थि धातु ऑशियस टिश्यू ऑशियस टिश्यू रस रक्त मांस मेद अस्थि मज्जा मज्जा कैन बी कंपेयर्ड विथ टू एलिमेंट्स समटाइम्स as per the reference it can be compared with the bone marrow bone marrow and another aspect the most important aspect is the nervous tissue brain and the nerves they can be compared with the functions of the majja dhatu then shukra dhatu that is the last product reproductive tissue of the body it includes of course the male gamete that is spermatozoa female gamete that is the ovum testosterone progesterone estrogen all hormones can be talked about when we talk about the shukra dhatu so my dear friends physiological aspect of ayurveda dosh dhatu mala vidyan even sharira kriya sharira kriya sometimes it is called as a kriya sharir by ccm but i personally feel kriya sharir is not correct word sharira kriya is more correct word This is the platform that I am using, where I have my own opinions as an educationalist, my own opinions as an Ayurvedic physician. I am MD, doctor of medicine in Ayurvedic medicine, that is Kaya Chikitsa. I am MD in Kriya Sharir or Ayurvedic physiology. So two post graduations are with me. I have practiced a lot in the slum areas, in the urban areas, in the foreign countries. So I have a little bit, what you can say, the right to comment my own opinions. this is my opinion you see kriya sharira kriya are functions sharira is the human body so whether the functions are first or the human body is first i personally feel you must talk about human body and then talk about its structure and the functions so sharira kriya sharira kriya is more specific word than kriya sharira but anyway central council of indian medicine has said kriya sharira okay ayurvedic physiology in ayurvedic physiology dosh dhatu mal these are very important elements to study about physiology then in the nidana that is a pathology we study the pathological aspect then in the chikitsa we try to cure this imbalance of dosh dhatu and mal we are try to understanding the ayurvedic terminology this dosh dhatu mal terminology is very important if you want to understand ayurveda unless and until you don't know about dosha dhatu mal mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you cannot understand anything because everything every topic 
about the diet, about the exercise, about the prakriti, about the biotype. Everything is depend on vat, pitta, kapha. Bioenergies, dosha, rasa, rakta, maus, med, asti, majja, shukra, sevan, dhatuza. And when they are performing physiology, what they are doing? Bioenergies, vat, pitta, kapha are doing their functions of movement. Doing their functions of metabolism. Doing their function of nutrition. Through which elements? Through which energy will require matter to get exploited? Energy will require matter to get exploited. Remember, remember. So those will require some media to expose of their functions. So Vata, Pitta, Kapha are doing their physiological functions through Saptadhatu. They will work through the rasa, through rakta, through mouse, through med, through asti, through majja and through shukta. Unless and until these body elements are there, vata pitta kapha has no value. So, there should be balanced of dosha, there should be balanced of quantity, quality and functions of dhatu. And during this process of activation, activity, physiology, there is always some waste. There is always some waste. Of course, that is natural phenomena. We are living in any building. We are living in the house. House has a kitchen. House has a sitting room. House has a little bit worshipping area. But, but, do you understand? House should have some sanitary system. House should have washing, washroom. House should have toilets. If there is no sanitary system, if there are no toilets, whether that house is perfect, no, not at all. Similarly, human body is perfect when there is a dosh, when there are dhatus and there are also some mala. Remember my words. Mala are also important to maintain our body physiology, to maintain our health. West are very important. Which are those important three West products? They are called as thula mala, gross West products at the primary digestion. Mutra, urine. Stools, that is Purisha in Ayurveda. Mutra, Purisha and Sveda. Sveda is a sweat. So these are the three Mala. Dosha, Dhatu and Mala. Everything, everything, not only Dosha, not only Dhatu, not only Mala. Everything should be quantitatively, qualitatively and functionally should be physiological, should be perfect. Then only we can maintain the health. I will give a very simple example. Every day morning, we should go to the toilets and have our stools passed. That is called as a, in medical language, bowel, B-O-W-E-L, dash, opened. Bowel opened every day. You should have excrete your stools, solid waste product. If Three, four, five days. If you don't pass any stool, constipation, hard stools, what will happen? Just imagine what will happen. There will be gas. There will be abdominal pain. There will be discomfort. You will not feel energy. Maybe your vata, maybe your pitta, maybe your kapha is there. But you will not feel healthy. Because your waste product is not functioning well. There is not proper formation and excretion of the stools. Same is the case with the urine. If at all you don't pass the urine, if it is a burning urine, what will happen? Your health is damaged. So remember my words. Dosha, Dhatu and Mala, all should be functioning well. Ayurvedic Kriya Sharin is also called as Dosha, Dhatu, Mala, Vidnyana. Vidnyana means science. What is Ayurvedic physiology? This is the science of or physiological science, physiological understanding of dosha, bioenergies, dhatu, body tissues and mala, that is the waste products. So my dear friends, this is the another part I can say about the dosha, dhatu, mala, vidnyana. Dosha, bioenergies have the media to work that the dhatu. Then also in the metabolism there is a waste product that is called as a mala. So my dear friends, we will continue this Dosh Dhatu Malavidnya for many, many further lectures and each and every time I will give the new aspect of different elements. So I wish 
that my YouTube channel. Please subscribe it, share my these videos, and give me energy to propagate Ayurveda as possible, as much possible. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.